what is up everyone now i hope you all are having a good day and like always if you are please do me a favor by hitting that like button now Giannis and the bucks have made it to the nba finals and i don't know about you guys but i always wanted a Giannis build here on 2k21 current gen and not just any Giannis build i wanted the best Giannis build and believe it or not, I actually found it. Now without giving away too much, this build will get elite contact dunks and big man contact dunks so this build can dunk on anyone. This build also gets almost 25 finishing badge upgrades and almost 25 defensive badge upgrades. And Giannis can also play make so of course I made sure this build gets a decent amount of playmaking badges. But anyways, enough hyping up this build. I think it's time we go ahead and get right into today's video. Yo, what is good YouTube? It's your boy King Tiva back with another banger build for you all. Now, like I said before, I'm gonna show you the best Giannis build here on 2K21 current gen. And if you want your player to look like Giannis, I actually made a Giannis face creation. So go ahead and check out that video if you are interested in that. Now, before we head over to the My Player Builder, I would appreciate it if you guys could hit that subscribe button for me. And if you happen to be new here on this channel, I make best build videos, face creation videos, badge methods, and a lot more. And once 2K22 comes out, you already know I'm gonna be one of the first people to drop banger builds and banger face creations. So if you wanna have the best build or the best face creation on 2K22, just make sure you turn on post notifications so that way you don't miss any of my videos. But anyways, with all that being said, I think it's time to show you this insane Giannis build. So let's go ahead and jump right into the My Player Builder. All right, we have arrived in the My Player Builder. So without wasting any time, let's go ahead and get started with the first name and the last name. It does not matter. As you can see, I'm gonna use Giannis and I'm not even gonna try to pronounce his last name. But anyways, moving on to the position. Now here, you wanna make him a power forward. Yeah, I know Giannis plays a bunch of different positions, but in order to get the best Giannis build, in this game, you gotta go with the power forward position. But anyways, moving on to the hand. Now here you can pick whatever hand you wanna use, but I'ma go with right. And then when it comes to the jersey number, use whatever one you wanna use. Now let's go ahead and click continue. All right, now here is where we pick our pie chart. Now this part was kinda difficult. I had to pick from a couple of these pie charts but the one that stood out the most has got to be the finishing and the defensive pie chart because those are two of Giannis' strongest abilities. I mean, he did win MVP and Defensive Player of the Year in the same year, and that's pretty crazy if you ask me. So yeah, that's the pie chart we're gonna go with for this build. Now moving on to the physical profile. Now, if you guys been watching my channel, I usually always pick the one with the most speed, but when it comes to this Giannis build, that one just didn't seem to fit right for me. So I ended up picking the balanced physical profile. Now moving on to our potential. So getting right into things, starting with the finishing category, you wanna max out your close shot, and then you wanna max out your driving layup, and then obviously max out your driving dunk. I mean, this is Giannis. And then max out your standing dunk. And then just put your post hook on 50. So now after that, you will see we get 24 finishing badge upgrades. And in my opinion, that is perfect for this Giannis build. I mean, if we could get more, I would put more on, but we can't. Now moving down to the playmaking because we're not putting anything on our shooting because Giannis, he's not the best shooter, let's be honest here. But when it comes to anything else on the floor, best believe Giannis can do it and so can this build. So skipping past shooting, moving on to the playmaking. Now here you wanna max your pass accuracy. 
max your ball handling, and then max your post moves. So like I said in the intro, as you can see, we get a decent amount of playmaking badge upgrades. But now let's move on to the defense and rebounding category. Now here you want to max your interior defense, max your perimeter defense, max your lateral quickness, max your block, and then put your offensive rebound on 83 and your defensive rebound on 83. So now after all that, you will see we get 24 finishing, one shooting, 13 playmaking and 22 defensive and rebounding. Now when it comes to everything, and I mean everything besides shooting, this build can do it. But anyways, moving on to our body shape, and I believe build reminds me the most of Giannis. And then when it comes to his height, now here in real life, Giannis is 6'11", but if we make this player 6'11", actually I'm gonna just show you. Let's go up to 6'11", and you will see everything gets worse. So in order to make the best Giannis build, we're gonna lower it down one to 6'10", and honestly, it's not even that big of a difference. Now moving on to our weight. Now here you wanna make him 200, so that way we get more speed. Now moving on to the wingspan. Now this part is very important. Now normally for this Giannis build, you would think just to max out the wingspan, right? But if we do that, we can't get the slashing takeover. And in my opinion, the slashing takeover is the most overpowered takeover in this game, especially for this Giannis build. You wanna have the slashing takeover. But if we go back and move it one notch down from the max, and it should be 91.0, we can get the slashing takeover. And as you can see right here, we got the slashing takeover. So now let's go ahead and click on that. And you will see that we have built a glass cleaning finisher. Now, unfortunately, we don't have shades of Giannis, but that doesn't really matter that much to me. Let me know in the comment section if it matters to you. But anyways, if you made it this far into the video, make sure you hit that like button for me. Make sure you hit that subscribe button for me and continue watching because right, right, right now, we're gonna go over the best badges to use for this Giannis build. So getting right into things, starting with the finishing category, you want to max out consistent finisher on Hall of Fame, contact finisher obviously has to be on Hall of Fame, fancy footwork on Hall of Fame, relentless finisher on Hall of Fame, and pro touch on Hall of Fame. And since lobs are so overpowered in this game, you want to max out lob city finisher on Hall of Fame. So that is gonna be it for the finishing. Moving on to the shooting, and we only have one badge upgrade, so we're just gonna put that on range extender. Now moving on to the playmaking. Now here, you wanna put quick first step on gold, post spin technician on gold, on pluckable on gold, break starter on gold, and last, you wanna put bailout on bronze. So that's gonna be it for the playmaking. Moving on to the defense and rebounding category. Now here, you wanna put clamps on gold, intimidator on hall of fame, box on hall of fame, rebound chaser on hall of fame, rim protector on hall of fame, and last, you wanna put worm on gold. All right, so those are the best badges for this Giannis build. Now, like always, let me know down in the comments section if you plan on making this build. And let me know down in the comments section if you think Giannis and the Bucks can actually win it all. In my opinion, I think the Suns will probably win, but I could be wrong, who knows? Now, before I go, I just wanna remind you all to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and turn on post notifications so that way you never miss an upload from me. Like I said before, once 2K22 drops, you already know I'm gonna be dropping all kinds of builds and all kinds of face creations. So yeah.
make sure you stay tuned for that. Now, I want to thank you all for taking time out of your day to watch this video. And as always, I hope to see you all in my next video. Wow.